This might be one of the weirdest things that's happened to me since starting this YouTube channel. We got caught up in a scam. Someone's been pretending to be me and is asking bike brands for free bikes in exchange for videos on this channel. And at first glance, the request looked pretty convincing. So convincing, in fact, that a brand nearly gave away a thousand pound custom frame set. A thousand pounds? They actually thought it was us. Luckily though, we found out just in time. So we decided to have some fun. <laughs> but before we get into that, let's rewind a little bit. How did we even find out that this was going on? It all started when I got a really weird direct message from a brand called Elves on Instagram. The Instagram message said, Hello, just following up. Happy to get the frame out. Need sizes, plus. Elves are a Chinese bike brand with a UK office and they have featured in these videos before. We did a super light bike build with Jimmy and have featured Harry Max AliExpress bike before in previous episodes. Obviously, we were confused because we hadn't actually asked for a frame. So we replied and asked them why they thought we might want one. And they said that Francis had emailed them and asked them for one. But he hadn't. They then showed me a copy of a detailed email that they'd received from me, but not me. And that's when we realized they'd been catfished. The email itself looks pretty legitimate too. They've created a Cade Media email address and made an email signature with the Cade Media logo plus my Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter handles. I'm not being funny. That looks way more legit than our email signature. They put a lot of effort into that. Yeah, the logo's legit. We should probably steal their signature for our emails. It's got all of our details on it. The cleverest part of this scam is what they actually say. Clearly, it's someone who follows this channel quite closely because they've used details that you'd only know if you watched our videos. The scammer starts off their email by saying, Dear Elves, let me introduce myself. I'm Francis. I run a YouTube channel all about bikes, Cade Media. I'm imagining some phone jacker style Bahamas setting with someone typing away on a keyboard with, with all of this going on. So far, I've built a platform of 240,000 subscribers and I'd like to say that I've been quite successful in establishing a place amongst the cycling related content creators over my 1,500 videos. All the details are correct so far. Clearly, they've done their research. Although collaborations I do are mainly with Western brands, Scott being one of the channel's most notable sponsors, we've had collaborations with Chinese bike products before, namely L2, with their gravel group sets. Again, they're using clever details here, like our sponsorship with Scott. The fact we've done stuff with L2 does make this come across as much more convincing. It's not just a generic email, that's what I'm saying. They finish. I would be interested in one of your road frames and equipping the bike and building it up with components we have here. This will make for a good video for the channel and will definitely promote your brand more, allowing to further compete with the big name Western brands. For now, this is just an informal proposal and I have interest in the frames you make and I feel that we could both benefit for a collaboration. Take your time to consider King Regards. Francis. The cheek of it. The cheek? It's very, it's very like brazen, very confident. I wouldn't email someone like that. Well, maybe you should. My spelling would be better. Yours wouldn't. Elves were pretty convinced by this message and their UK head of sales, Sarah Jane, wrote back to them. She said, Hi Francis, I dropped you a line on Instagram. Thanks for your email. To be honest, I was due to contact you anyway. We're certainly very aware of the success of your channel and keen to get connected. It would be fantastic if we could schedule a brief call just to introduce ourselves a bit more personally. I'm pretty flexible with times. Let me know if that's okay with you. Looking forward to catching up. The scammer doesn't get back to her, so she sends a follow-up email asking about frame sizes what groups that they're going to use, and even offering a complimentary bottom bracket. She then asks for an address to send the frame. It was at this point we saw SJ's Instagram message and we all figured out what was actually going on. She was obviously very surprised and relieved that she found out before sending the frame out. After the initial shock of getting catfished wore off, she actually saw the funny side. Wow, all I can say is the extreme measures people will go to to get a Falath Evo, yeah? So with a potential disaster averted, we decided to have some fun. We asked SJ if she was up for helping us get our own back on the scammer, and she was. I guess, yeah, what I can do is just go back and, and say, yeah, just let us know where you want us to send your frame to. Hey, why don't I just build up a full bike and deliver it to you with a ribbon on? So we planned to wait for the scammer to reply with their address, and then send them a little gift from Cade Media. The scammer replied later that day. Dear Sarah Jane, 
Unfortunately, I've been quite busy on a personal level and any spare time has gone into trying to create consistent YouTube uploads. This is great news regarding the bike. I've heard the elves have peculiar sizing. I myself am 5 foot 10 and I ride a 53 centimeter bike currently from Scott. Wrong. You will most likely have to advise on the subsequent sizing of your brand. Everyone knows that you're 4 foot 8. There's no way that that's going to wash. As for paint specifications and the custom paint, I feel like the name on the bike, as I saw in Jordan's video, was slightly tacky, and this is not something I wish to have. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> so, so this person's actually like mugging off other YouTubers in your name. Well, he doesn't want my name on it, does he? He can't ride it. I have attached screenshots of a bike I saw from GC Performance for the Aussie Executive, I believe. This is a nice paint scheme, as are most of the paint schemes on the website. It's definitely someone which watches a lot of cycling YouTube, because they, they know stuff about everyone. Maybe it's someone really close to us. Maybe it's Nick. As for delivery, depending on the time frame, either the workshop in Richmond will be the best place, if it will be into next year, as this is where we'll build it up. Otherwise, I'll be moving back towards Essex for the foreseeable future. The Richmond Bike Shop is probably a reference to BikeFit James's shop, one of my closest friends who runs a shop in Richmond. It's them using real information to try and sound legit. Finally, if you live near London and or Essex, I will be moving between the two areas for a while, so I would be good to meet up and discuss before the frame arrives. You didn't mention this, but it makes sense to me if it can happen. King regards, Francis. That's creepy, man. That is really creepy. Why does this person want to meet up with SJ? Do you think he's got a mask on my face? At this point, SJ is going along with a plan, still pretending she's talking to the real Francis. Hey Francis, great to hear back from you. No worries, I completely understand how busy you guys are. It must be non-stop. It's just great to be connected. We would certainly intend on getting this out to you in the next six to eight weeks. How does that fit with your filming schedule and location? The scammer replies, Dear Sarah Jane, in just over 10 weeks time, I'll have to be near the workshop to sort out content with a local bike shop owner in Richmond. Really? I'll be in Essex during the delivery time, so it seems most appropriate to send there. I can do a quick once over and sort out any problems. Video posted within a week or so from then. Has Nick ever lived in Essex? The pair then have a few emails back and forth, mainly about paint schemes. SJ then told the scammer the bike was in production and we finally got what we wanted, an address and a mobile number for a house in Essex, which we assume must be the scammer's location. Now it's time to hatch a plan. Number one, continue the conversation and make the scammer think that they are actually gonna receive a 1,000 pound custom frame set. How long? <laughs> it's so long since I've written words. How oh, long? How oh, long? Ah, uh, long. Number two, get a branded box. Three. Fill a box with some surprises. Four, deliver the box. Five, they get a big surprise. Jimmy, what are we actually gonna put in the box? Well, Barbie's quite popular at the minute. Oh yeah. Maybe we should try and get a Barbie bike. So Barbie bikes are actually quite expensive. So I found a kid's pink bike that's small. Several days later. New bike day, Jimmy, are you excited? Uh, yes, I am. I think it's going to fit you perfectly. Thank you very much. I think we should send them an autograph too, because they're clearly a fan. Work it. Come on, Francis, work it. Vogue it. Yeah, move it. Yeah, baby, yeah! What are you doing? Writing them a little note. Hi, Francis. A little birdie tells me you're in need of a new bike to review for your YouTube channel. Say no more. We've got you covered. Enjoy. P.S. Please stop pretending to be me and trying to scam companies. It's actually fraud which is a pretty serious criminal offence. King regards, Francis. The real one. And for the finishing touch, biodegradable glitter. It's not enough. 
Got any more? I hate glitter. Hate it. It's gone on our table. It goes everywhere. We wanted to uh, make one of those glitter bombs that the scammer YouTube video people make, but we're not clever enough, so this is the next best option. So our special delivery was ready and everything was going to plan until an unexpected development later that month threatened to derail the whole plan. We released a video at the end of last month about our friend Harry Mack's race bike, which he built almost exclusively from AliExpress parts. The frame was an elves falaf. He'd ridden the bike for 20,000 kilometers and had mentioned that the brake tracks on the wheels had worn out. A couple of days later, he did a race on that bike the brakes failed and he smashed into a barrier. The bike was ruined. So we followed up on a podcast, talked about the crash and acknowledged that basically it was Harry's fault. Yeah, silly boy. What we hadn't counted on is our scammer's reaction. A couple of days later, they sent another message to SJ. Hi Sarah Jane, I regret to inform you that I will not be able to make a video regarding the Elves Falaf Evo. You may have seen our recent video exposing the Elves bike belonging to Harry Mack. However, following some more conversation with him, I cannot see myself undertaking this video project. Thank you for your time and consideration. I apologize for any inconvenience caused, Francis. We were at a bit of a loss as to what to do. It seemed like such a weird U-turn, seeing as there wasn't really anything wrong with the frame. We debated for a long time on how to respond. After a lot of thought, we asked ourselves, how would SJ respond if she was answering this message legitimately? Because if this was real, the custom-made bike would already be in production, so our scammer would know this. So she went back and basically said, are you sure? She wrote, yes, we certainly saw the content. To be honest, we felt like providing you with a Falaf Evo to review would provide Elves Bikes with the opportunity to demonstrate how far the brand has come since 2021, when Harry's bike was made. She then added, obviously, if you make the decision not to, that's a decision that we have to accept. After that message was sent, we had a tense wait for a response. Then finally, a reply. Hi Sarah Jane, we really appreciate everything you've done this far and we respect you personally and your company. It's for this reason that instead of waiting for the frame to arrive and notifying you then, potentially causing issues, I wanted to inform you ahead of time. What I don't want to happen, as this is a custom job, is for the review to not go ahead and feel like you've been cheated out of this. We would of course be open to accept the frame still and reevaluate in a few weeks time. If after the re-evaluation we feel that we cannot produce the video on our end, we would want to know that on your end something has already been figured out. Again, we cannot apologize enough for this inconvenience. Let me know what you think. So basically, they're willing to take the bike, but they can't promise a video will be made. This is obviously a very good excuse for there not being a video of this bike ending up on our channel. Very clever, 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 clever. Hmm. Clever but dumb. <laughs> Clever but glitter bomb. So the plan's back on. They exchange a few more emails about build specs and SJ sets a date for the shipment. It's finally time to send our box. Several days later. Oh, it's been delivered. I'm looking at the tracking information and it has officially been signed as received. Do you think they're gonna get the glitter bomb? It's gonna go everywhere. It always goes everywhere. Now it did cross our minds whether we should turn up with the bike and deliver it to the person's house. But after speaking to Emily, who's a legit journalist and much smarter than me and Jimmy, we thought otherwise. I was a journalist for um, about 10 years working for newspapers and in that time I've done a lot of doorstepping, which is basically turning up to people's houses unannounced and asking them for stuff. I don't think that it's responsible for us to put this person's address, face, their doorstep, any of that information on the internet. It's ultimately vigilantism. We don't want to encourage any kind of 
trial by media here. What do we know about this person? We know that they are very committed to what they've been doing and they're not acting like a normal person would, right? So potentially you go there and you end up in a dangerous situation or you go there and you encounter someone that might be vulnerable in some way. What they have done is fraud and we have their details now so we can pass it on to the appropriate channels and we had a little bit of fun but ultimately I don't think it's responsible that we air any sort of personal information of theirs. Hopefully this video was embarrassment enough. So sensible. Can you imagine if she wasn't here? <laughs> you might be dead. So that's how we scammed our scammer. On a serious note, we don't know how many emails this person has sent out to other companies pretending to be us or me. Or other YouTubers for that matter. For the record, any official emails from us would always come from an email address ending cademedia.co.uk. We do want to say a big thank you to Elves. For the record, this was not a sponsored video. They did not pay for this, but SJ was absolutely amazing during the whole process and she was well in on scamming this guy. So thank you, SJ. We're assuming it's a guy. Maybe it's not. Person. Could be a person. <laughs> Could still be Nick. Maybe it's AI. Maybe it's SJ. Another great thing to come out of this is Harry Mack's bike. Mm -hmm. Because of this and all the communications we've been having with SJ, she's ended up in contact with Harry and they've replaced his bike for him, which we will be covering in a future episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more. More scams? Hopefully not. <laughs>